to thaw or not to thaw. That along with other tips on how to use frozen fruit when baking coming up right now. First of all, should you thaw your fruit? N no, you don't have to thaw your fruit unless, of course there are exceptions, unless the recipe asks you to, or the cook time is very short and wouldn't give the frozen fruit a chance to cook through. So 15 minutes or less, you probably wanna thaw your fruit first. The other thing about cooking with frozen fruit, if you have a big lump of ice like this, you wanna take care of those ice crystals. They'll just add way too much moisture. So put them in a colander and rinse them with cold water. Cold water will take away the ice, but not necessarily thaw your fruit. You'll also have a chance to cut any big pieces of fruit if you wish. You'll often have to increase the bake time to accommodate for the cold factor. In muffins or other recipes that have a relatively short bake time, you'll probably just need to add three or five minutes extra. For longer cooking recipes like pies and crisps and crumbles, you'll probably need an extra 10, maybe even 15 minutes. And finally, if you have small berries, you may want to coat them with a little bit of flour or cornstarch to keep them from sinking to the bottom of a recipe and so that they don't bleed as much. That should give you a good start on baking with frozen fruit. Follow and subscribe for more great tips.